Did you watch the surgery one? Yeah. What surgery one? Really Can you me? hear me? <laughs> what? what is that? I watched it. I'm so embarrassed at myself. Is that the one Courtney had? Yeah. So this is a basic figure eight under the chin. So you do one full loop on a diagonal. Then go under the chin. <laughs> and now you're going to go diagonal this way. Oh, you look so cute. Okay. Then under the chin to go back to the first diagonal. Under the chin to go to the second diagonal. And you could go on for the whole roll. Hmm. But in the practical test, you're just going to do that. Or you're going to have practiced at home and you've cut your gauze to fit both the head and the extremity. Except oh. you're doing Abby. So oh, and she's big. Abby. Yeah. So... Do you put this on top? Yes. So then, your vet wrap, skin looks terrible. The vet wrap is, you're just going to do exactly the same thing. You do your first diagonal, then go under the chin, and do your second diagonal. And Abby's head is bigger, so it's always easier. <coughs> and then wherever you end, and I usually just go. Chin. Under the chin, cut it, and then you'll have a piece of tape so that the vet wrap doesn't undo. Okay. So the only difference then is if you are going to do ear up. So you put a piece of gauze here and then fold the ear up so that the gauze protects the ear flap from the bony head so that acts as padding. And Abby stays up better too. This dog keeps falling to the table. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to go same diagonal under the chin, second diagonal, so that the ear opening is seen. Okay. You want and you can put your cleanser in. <clears throat> like you want it oh, okay. so that you can see it? And so that yeah, you can so put like drops this in? This way it stays open to the air so it will dry. Okay. You can put medication in. You can see it. Okay. Because usually dogs don't like it if their ear is infected. And so you'll just go to them and grab their ear and they shake and they run away. This way at least it's open and you can hang on to them and you've got full access to For a uh, hematoma, does it have to be open up? opened up too or can, for an oral because like yeah, I, like would you do that for a long period of time because like you think like stuff would get in their ear uh well again if he was in a car with his head hanging out the window maybe stuff would get in his ear but yeah okay and of course you can't go swimming and stuff like that with an ear infection mm -hmm. so with an oral hematoma depending on how they've surgically repaired it or not surgically repaired it would depict what type of bandage you put on so usually with an oral hematoma they go home with the ear no bandage Mm -hmm. But if you want the ear to be stuck up on the head and a pressure bandage put on, like a head bandage so that it acts as pressure for the actual ear flap, then you would do this.